Hey, 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 this is Toxic Rain Scandal. Got another toxic topic for you guys today. Why Bianca Belair is underrated and how to fix it. Like subscribers, you coming through those ropes when you get into the ring. With that being said, let's get her dirty laundry. Now we're gonna talk about how she's underrated. Now first starts here when she lost her WWE SmackDown Women's Championship to Becky Lynch at SummerSlam 2021. She lost in the record 27 seconds. She said that it was a bittersweet moment. She was ready to fight Sasha Banks when Becky made her unexpected return after giving birth to her daughter. She was on maternity leave. But she said she's uh, happy to be, be a part of that amazing moment. She lost her title, and right now she feels emotional. She was defeated. Becky Lynch, when she comes to sign outside of range, she's a legend for taking. Now, with this moment here, when Becky Lynch, I know this was Becky Lynch's request to become a heel, and she was originally supposed to be a baby face. But I believe that the role should have been reversed. When Bianca Belair lost her championship in 27 seconds at SummerSlam 2021, Bianca Belair, this could have been a perfect moment for her to turn heel right there and to turn on the fans of why she's becoming a heel because she lost the championship so fast and they all were rooting for Becky to make her return. It should not have been Becky turned heel. It should have been Bianca that turned heel. So I think that it should have been Becky stayed a baby face and we should have moved with Bianca. That would have put her over and made her more popular character and not stale. Now, however, despite this, Bianca did win a championship again, but this time it was the Raw Women's Championship. And she did win April 2nd, 2022, when she faced Becky Lynch. And she won a championship for 420 days. And during this title reign that she did win at WrestleMania 38, she had 10 title defenses. But despite having a championship for 420 days, you know, and being the longest reigning women's champion in modern day history, she did get criticism from the fans saying she's boring. Fans are saying she's so boring. They also said here that she's probably in the ring. They talk about how she's not good in the ring. She botches. And of course, the character is stale. Since right there, the chant thing is stale, which I agree it was. I have my other video regarding her watching too much, but for being underrated, it was a character issue with Bianca. See, they say again here, another article fans believe the longest reign champion had the most born reign ever, and I have to agree, and this goes back to her character. The character should have been a heel the moment she lost to Becky, because they could have ran off that, and she could have been on a quest to win her championship back as a heel and had a fans turn on her. And it could have been very, very something special with that character. Now, this is her championship defenses of the 420 days. And I have to say, it was not nothing memorable. The only good match she had in my opinion was the Raw Women's Triple Threat against Austin and Becky Lynch at the Sale 2022. She also had a good view with Bailey. You know, she had the last one stuck standing match at Crown Jewel. We had that match. But she has she has some very lackluster average matches. If you look at the ratings here. Her few with Alexa Bliss at the Royal Rumble. The WWE Royal Rumble 2023. 1.5 and a half stars. That wasn't good. You know, she averaged it. She did have some good tag team matches, but her championship was online at that point. Now, even here, after her first championship run against Bailey, three and a half stars. The WrestleMania Backlash 2021, three and a half stars. 
Now I'm just saying her championship runs overall. Now it's just this championship run with her first one as well. Now if you look here, when she did lose the championship to Oscar, she had a 3.25 rating for the WWE Raw Women's Championship match. This was not too long ago. And I believe that she's underrated. Like I said, her character development needed major work. And I know right now that Bianca is currently a cleaner and she's going through the process of becoming a heel. She's either going to be heel at SummerSlam full mode, whether it be SummerSlam 2023, or it could be a couple weeks leading prior to SummerSlam of her turning heel as she's in the mix with Asuka and Charlotte Flynn for the WWE Women's Championship, which this is going on SmackDown right now. But they should have made her heel a long time ago. It would have helped her character a lot. She should she should have went here, like I said, right here, the moment she gonna shake Becky Lynch at SummerSlam 2021. You know, it would have helped her out a lot. I don't I think her turn to heel now, I believe is a little too late. She should have been a heel. I know, you know, the fans liked her, but this was this was something that should have happened sooner. Hopefully that when she does turn heel fully, you know, this year, this summer, at summer, summer, or summer, that it's a very good, well executed plan for her heel turn. And that's all I have regarding the subject. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree, disagree, or are you neutral? Uh, this is how Bianca Belair can be fixed of her being underrated. Until then, it is O U T.